Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Waddles. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to what will probably be our shortest enchantment guide yet. Today we'll be going over each and every enchantment that you can get on your chestplate in survival Minecraft. Now if you stick around till the end, I have a small little announcement, so uh, props to you if you stick around for that long. If you like the video, leave a like and subscribe, and I do have an enchantment guide playlist. It'll be on the end slide. So let's just kind of jump into things. There's no need for a longer intro than that. We'll start off with the protection enchantments. There are four of them. There are four levels to each of these enchantments. Fire protection increases the amount of protection the player has from fire. So that means fire and magma, of course. Projectile protection increases the amount of protection the player has from projectiles. A projectile is something that is being thrown or shot at you, so a skeleton arrow is most definitely a projectile. Blast protection increases the amount of protection the player has from blasts. Blasts are, of course, explosions. That means creepers dive bombing you. If you get dive bombed a lot in the mines and you die from it and it makes you mad, Get blast protection on your chest plate. And then finally, we have protection. Protection increases just your general protection level. If you don't have a specific intention in mind for your armor set or your chest plate when you're making it, I usually recommend go with protection. It's just general protection. It makes you just all around a little bit safer, but it's totally up to you. If you have a specific function, like say nether exploration in mind, then definitely go with fire protection or something more like that. Now, all of those enchantments are mutually exclusive. That means you need to pick one or the other. You cannot combine the enchantments on your chest plate, unfortunately. Next up, we have our treasure enchantments. The treasure enchantments are all enchantments that you cannot get from an enchanting table. You'll need to go about getting these in other ways. Mending is a very, very good treasure enchantment. Mending can go on just about anything, and if you have it on something like your chest plate, it will take XP that you normally get from maybe like killing mobs or smelting things in a furnace and put it towards fixing up that piece of armor. So that means as long as you're collecting XP faster than your chest plate is taking durability damage and you don't have a bunch of other mending things on, your chest plate will be pretty much infinite. Mending is absolutely wonderful. I can still remember when it was added in, and it was a complete game changer for sure. The Curse of Vanishing and the Curse of Binding, however, are not very nice. <laughs> if you have the Curse of Vanishing on your chest plate and you die, that chest plate is gone. It's history forever, no getting it back, because the Curse of Vanishing makes that thing disappear upon death. However, you can drop the chest plate like normal still, it won't vanish. The Curse of Binding will bind your chest plate to you. So, if you're in the end and you find a shiny diamond chest plate with the Curse of Binding on it and you want to try it on, that try on will be permanent. <laughs> You'll need to die or break the chest plate to get rid of it. Next up, we have Thorns. Thorns is meh, in my opinion. Some people love it, a lot of people really don't like it much. Thorns has three separate levels. Thorns gives your thing the chance to deal some damage back to another thing that is hurting you. So let's say we have Thorns 3 on our chest plate and a zombie hits us. We don't have to hit the zombie back to deal some damage. The Thorns will probably take care of that. Now that all sounds nice until you look at your chest plate after getting attacked by a bunch of zombies one night and you notice that your durability has gone down quite a bit. Thorns will use up your durability on your armor set, which is a big bummer. Usually, by the time you're enchanting things, you can probably kill a few zombies or something like that. So, uh, usually you don't need thorns. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't much like thorns, but if you do, that's okay too. And finally, we have Unbreaking, which is just all around very, very nice. Unbreaking has three levels, and basically, with this on your chest plate, it will last a whole lot longer. If you have, say, Unbreaking 3 on your chest plate and a skeleton shoots you once, there's a good chance that that chest plate will take zero durability damage, which is, of course, very, very nice. If you have a diamond chest plate, Unbreaking 3, in my opinion, is a must have on that chest plate, so that plate can last a whole lot longer. And so, like I said, pretty quick, that's it. That's all of the chest plate enchantments. So, here are some final things to take note of. 
Do remember that the protection enchantments are all mutually exclusive. You will need to pick one of these enchantments. Now, my ideal survival chest plate is right here. This unbreaking 3, fire protection 4, and mending chest plate is what I would usually aim to shoot for. Unbreaking 3 and mending don't really need an explanation. They're both just good enchantments. The reason I say fire protection 4 is because I personally have a lot of trouble with the nether and fire. You should definitely build your chest plate around what you struggle with the most, in my opinion. If you find that you die a lot from explosions, then maybe go with a blast protection chest plate. If you die a lot from the fire or have trouble in the nether, go with a fire protection one. It's kind of all up to you. If you don't have a specific idea, then maybe just go with plain old protection. But that is the whole chest plate enchantment guide for you. So, you stuck around till the end. Here's the little announcement that I have for you. In case you don't know yet, I actually have a second channel. I will link the second channel for you on the end slide. If you have ever wanted to see some other gameplay from me, now's the time to check that out, actually. So far on the other channel, I have some Subnautica videos and some Black Ops videos. I have some multiplayer and some zombies. I've absolutely been loving Black Ops 4 zombies lately. I am open to requests though too, so if there's a different game that you'd love to see me play and commentate and do whatever, definitely recommend it to me. Again, I will link that channel on the end slide, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you check it out and subscribe over there if that's the type of content that you like to watch. My name is Waddles. If you like the video, drop a like and subscribe. Again, the guide playlist will be on the end slide in just a few moments here. Thank you very much for watching. Go have a good day. My name is Waddles, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.